Hi everyone. I want to show how to handle unhandled promise rejection in Cypress. So imagine we have our application. Inside we have a button. The button has an ID promise. When you click that button, the application creates a new promise. But then it rejects it and it doesn't handle the rejection. So what happens in this case? Let's write a test. So I have my test here. I'm visiting the page. I'm getting the button with IT promise and then I'm clicking it. So the application does something. Let's open the DevTools and we can see that there is uncaught promise rejection. Our application has thrown well, not for reject the, uh, the promise after one second, but the task has finished. So let's add a way just to make sure that we see the truth. Aha! Uh -huh. The app throws the, well, not throws, rejects the promise, but Cypress doesn't catch that by default. It only catches exceptions, not unhandled promise rejections. So what can we do? Well, we have to register uh, an event listener ourselves. So when we visit, we can define on before load, where we're getting the window reference. And in this window reference, we add event listener and unhandled rejection. And here we get an event object. And we can, for example, print it event. So let's see how this works. Open it, and this is the event. As you can see, it's normal, uh, dumb event, but it has the reason, and it has a promise. So you get the promise, but you can't really extract anything. Uh, the interesting thing is the reason for the rejection, right? Which is something that application did. Well, a better thing would be like a new error, probably. Okay. So in this case, if we run it it would be much better because the reason would be an error with the stack and everything. But what do we want to do? We don't want to just catch that, right? We want to fail the test. So in this case, in our spec, when we get the event, we can say throw new error and let's say event reason message. Boom. So now, we can see that our application created a promise, rejected it, and Cypress listened to that event, caught it, and failed the test as expected. As always, we don't have to register this for every visit. We can say sci on window before load. We'll get the window and we can register our unhandle event if we want to visit the page but we already will install it by default so it works the same way and if you want to register it for every window not just in this test you can do big cypress right so it works the same way and if you want to register for all specs you can move it into the support file that's loaded before the spec file. And that's how you can react to rejected promises from your application and really fail the test.